All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai 922. Final review of the night. Fairy Tale 140. Um, this one. Wow. Wow. Um, four and a half out of five. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous, but it was that kind of episode. Okay. Um. Basically, what went down here, the name of this one was called The Return of the Racing Sace. Um, apparently, what has happened is, they will play the fools! Yeah! That's the le le that not just Legion, but Fairy Tale as well, were played for fools! Basically, what I'm trying to, the way I, I think what basically went down was this. Now, I forgot this guy's name, but the, 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 the cardinal that is like, like he, um, that is at Zentopia, who watches over, who is the, like, guy, the caregiver, I suppose you could say, of the, um, ah, uh, fuck, what's his name? Of, you know, the, the, um, Archbishop. The guy who looks over the Archbishop. It seems like he kept going to visit the Ratian Saints while they were in prison. So, basically, that was the whole gist. Now, basically, in the beginning, we got, you know, Midnight saying a few things and so on and so forth. And, no joking around, like, Ratian Saints? Yes, I have to clap. They fucking destroyed <laughs> They fucking annihilated them, man. It was so bad how they just annihilated them. It was just like, bang, it was it. It was no, no joking around. Now, it, it, it's funny because the intro tells us that it seems like Natsu is going to fight Midnight. I don't know. It just seems that way. But anyway, they, they begin to fight, obviously. Um, it's not even a contest. <laughs> I'm not joking around when I say that. Um, Natsu tries to attack them, and guess who's part of them? Aragorn. I'm, I'm Aragorn. I'm Walt. I'm, I'm Walt. I'm like, what? He's not part of them. And he's like really powerful. No joking around. It's like a storm, he says. It's a storm or something. And he's got beef up powers. And you know, Racer? Holy shit. That guy? Oh my god. He was like... It was like not even funny. He was just bashing everybody left and right. And, and then we get... A fight with Natsu and Cobra also. And there's a lot of action going on in this in this in this scene. Um Byro even tried to because what happens originally is Midnight attacks them. And Midnight annihilates them. Like, even Byro couldn't go up against Midnight. And I'm like, and Byro's got and the explanation was very unusual of why he was able to attack. Byro and Byro has um, cancellation magic powers. I couldn't understand the explanation. Maybe someone could, could enlighten me why he was able to attack Byro without him. I think it had something to do with his magic. But anyway, moving right along. So everyone's getting attacked. And then the coup de drama was probably two things it was Cobra and it was Angel. Wow. Um, Cobra. Natsu was screaming at Cobra, and what happened was, see, what happened was, he was confronting Charlotte and Wendy, and they were like stone stiff when he was looking at them. I think Cobra is after Snake. The girl he turned into a snake, I think he's after her. That was the whole point of that. And Natsu yells at him, and he sends back his, 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 his scream to him. And he just annihilates everybody from it. And then the, two, the coup de gras, I think, was Angel. Because then Dan tries to protect Lucy, and then he goes to Angel, oh, 
killer you know, and say love her and then the bear guy, I, forgot, I don't know what the bear guy's name is, attacks him with a lightning bolt and then she doesn't use, apparently she doesn't use celestial spirits anymore. She has these coins and I'm like, okay, you have coins, what does that mean? So, and basically what it means is she uses these coins to summon this angel. Literally, an angel. And it just, forget about it. It just comes out and it just destroys everything. And I'm like, holy shit, they're all dead. Ah. But no, that's not what happens. Because after that happens, we get a scene with um, the other members of the Legion going there. And they're realizing, oh, they're all dead. What happened? What happened about, what about Kokoba and Byro-sama you know, and Dan? So... Um, apparently, and Samuel's saying, like, how he knew it was going to happen from his calculations, so on and so forth. So, basically, what went down was, um, seemingly in the, in the episode, you also see a ship. So they were saved, obviously. And then we go from that scene, we don't, we don't find out truthfully what happened to him until later on. We go from that scene to the Magic Council. And they're talking about Oracian says, I, I thought they were in prison. The guy, the head, the head of the Magic Council was saying that. And they're saying, oh, they were, they were. But what happened was, was that they had created copies of themselves. And those copies disintegrated. And they were telling, the, the, the guards were telling the, the um, head of the Magic Council that what had happened was a priest kept visiting them. This priest, oh, by the way, this priest is the same guy who is, who was, you know, saying not to disturb the Archbishop. Remember that part in the other episode? Same guy. So, obviously, he's the evil guy in this scenario. Um, and what ends up happening is Lahar, you know, you know, he's the head of the, the, the Master Council of Knights. Uh, he comes out and he says, oh... You know, it is true that they disappeared. They totally fooled us. It was a complete... And, and that was the whole bit. Because, you see, Lurisi and Sace had put their name engraved in the clock. So it was all a big scam. Oh, by the way, I also found out something very peculiar in this episode. Michelle, I don't think... I, I think she's... Uh, I'm going to say this for Michelle. I don't trust her. I'm sorry. I don't trust her. She seems like she's got an alternative motive, and she might be working with them, or... I don't know. But anyway, we ran along. That's what they found out, the Magic Council. And, uh... We go back to Fairy Tale, and they're on the Blue Pegasus ship. So, I guess what's going on here. It's kind of funny. I mean, I find it kind of amusing that in the original Eurasian says... Blue Pegasus teamed up with um, with Fairy Tail, and when they're reborn, the new Eurasian says we have the new return of the Eurasian says. Same thing. Blue Pegasus. So moving right along, um, you know, there's a scene with them all going crazy and everything, and not too great, like disgusting because Bob's there and a Chia Sons there saying. So Man, he's doing his men lines and stuff. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention next chapters for Fairy Tale is gonna be about Gia. So, but yeah, for that. Anyway, moving on along. Um, everyone's awake now and everything else. Michelle has left, you know, so and so forth, and she's having a like, moment with Lucy. Um, kind of depressed. She's depressed, obviously, and she says, "Oh, don't worry." And then she's thinking to herself. Why did you leave me this clock, Father? And then she has a revelation. Uh, duh. Guess what? You know what the revelation is? You shouldn't have collected the clock pieces, you stupid whore. <laughs> uh, I don't want to call Lucy a whore. Maybe I should. <laughs> She's always shitted on. All right, anyway, moving right along. She finds out by reading the book that it was wrong. She wasn't supposed to collect the pieces. And she goofed up, and she's crying, and she's saying, I'm sorry, you know, so and so forth. 
And, you know, Matsu, Gray, and everybody are just are comforting Lucy, saying, you know, well, your father wasn't very specific, <laughs> you know, wasn't very really specific about what was going, going on and stuff. And that was their reason. And, and then you got Chia saying, you know, people make mistakes. You just got to, you know, rectify from them. Man! I like what he does that. He's like, he like, I would say he's the most comedic guy in fairy tale. A Chia song? I, I, I just love that guy. He's just so ridiculous. It's so funny. So, and that's basically what's going down. And now that they, they've decided that they're going to go and find the clock pieces. Go and find the clock and stop them and so on and so forth. Now, and that's pretty much what went down. That's pretty much the episode. I mean, also we get a scene with Michelle and she's got this weird look on her face. And I'm like, bitch, bitch. You better not be doing what I think you're doing. She, she's got this look that suggests that she's not there. I have a feeling she's she's going to betray Lucy's trust. I, I'm sorry, but I'm feeling she's going to betray Lucy's trust. But for this episode, I'm going to give this yeah, like I said four and a half out of five. That first part was awesome. I mean, I, I'm just wondering who who's not who's going to fight. Cause you see, I don't know who he's going to fight. Like, is he going to fight Cobra? Is he going to fight Aragorn? Or is he going to fight Midnight? So yeah, they don't call him Midnight. They call him Brain. Which was the name of his father. Original recency. So, you get the gist there. Um, but, yeah, the next episode, seemingly, we're going to see the Eurasian Sace again. Um, we're going to see a lot of the woman. Remember what I told you about Cobra? What he did to, Lu to Wendy? Well, apparently it seems like he's after her again. The one at fairy tale, you know, the one who turned into a snake, and yeah, cobra, everything. But anyway, that's the story there. Now, it seems like next week's episode, they're obviously going to hunt down for the clock, and everyone's going to be in on this. Um, um, Freed, Big Slow, Evergreen, everybody. We didn't even see Gildarts. Hey, Gildarts, I have a question. How come you're not in the manga now? Oh, that's right, you left. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> That's what's pretty much going to go down. So, this looks interesting. Listen, people, check out this filler. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. Racing Saints? Come on. Looks good. I I I'm all for it. I'm all for it, man. You know? Especially the angel. She comes back and I'm like, what the fuck is this? You know? She's coins and stuff. That was amazing. That was, that was, that was fantastic. Um, but that's all I got for you guys for Fairy Tale. Uh, this is getting good. Uh, it's gonna end soon. I, I think it's gonna end pretty soon. I think my guess, maybe four, five more episodes, and then we'll get into the main thing. So this should be good. Uh, and that's all I got for you guys for today. This has been Bonkai 922, episode 140 of Fairy Tale. This looks good. I'm liking where this arc's going. I guess I'll see you guys later. Oh, by the way, don't want to get off track here, but Tuesday and Wednesday, the reveal of the verses. <laughs> oh, by the way, Alchemist, I'm sorry, but Harry Bell versus Mickey Minaj does not count as a versus, okay? <laughs> sorry. All right, time to do that. See you guys later.